here with head coach Christy Martin and Emma Kennedy after a three-point loss in Central Washington. Coach, you know, ran into some early foul trouble losing Johansson and Simpson Patu. How did that change the game plan? Well, I mean, obviously when your two best players are in early foul trouble, I think E played four minutes and got three fouls. It completely changes the dynamic. Um, so we had to shuffle a lot of people in and out. And, you know, I, I'm confident in our bench. Our bench is really good. Um, I just wish they would have that much confidence in themselves as I do in them because the things that they do in games don't necessarily um, translate to what we've been doing in practice. And so that's a little frustrating for me. Um, you know, like Shiler Sullivan is somebody that is absolutely lights out and um, I expect big things out of. And um, so we're going to need people like that to step up. Um, our game plan didn't necessarily change. I think we tried to um, focus a little bit more defensively and having our defense become our offense and uh, just weather through it. Um, I don't know if we should have put Sanaya and E back in at the end um, of the second half or the first half and they picked up their third foul each. But, um, you know, those are all things that we learn from uh, as a team and especially as a coaching staff. And like you said, you, you guys focused on the defense, kind of create some offense. You were able to get out and transition that second half and, and that really attacked at Central Washington. They really had no answer for that and you are able to cut a 13-point lead down to one possession. You know, what does that show about this team, you know, continuing to attack, continuing to keep high energy throughout the game? My expectations are always the same for, for every team that I coach, and, and it's just things are going to happen. Adversity is going to hit you in life and in, in the game, and it's how you respond to that. That's who you are as a person. And so we, we really press that home in them, and I think that these girls really understand it. And when we dug ourselves into a hole, you know, we, we felt confident that we would come back and we, we weren't going to hang our heads. And, and collectively, as a group, they really fought back and did what they needed to do. I mean, the mo most important thing we did was have a little bit better help, communicate through the screens, and then make sure we block at the end of, end of the shot. So um, I, I, was, I was proud of their effort, and I always hate saying that because everybody says that, but um, I, I really was. I was proud that we, you know, we had probably the worst half of Saints basketball and we were able to weather that storm and come out and, and play a pretty good second half. I mean we held them to second, 16 second half points so that's, that's, that's good defense. So. And Emma, first start, how was that? It was really exciting, yeah, it was good. And you know when you're out there on the court you might be the smallest player out there on the court. <laughs> Me and Kenneth. <laughs> but uh, you know you two able to fight off some six footers and go in and get some rebounds. You know you show a lot of energy and a lot of passion out on the court. You know, how, how do you do that day in and day out? The um, biggest thing that coach teaches us is just toughness. So that's just the focus on defense, on offense, no matter what. It's just getting that rebound at the end of the play. And so just toughness is the biggest thing for us. So I just try to bring that energy to bring us up. And, you know, going forward, you know, how, how do you, you know, because you're only a sophomore, you're still getting going, you know, how, how do you, you know, build with this kind of experience and then kind of prepare yourself for uh, a tough GNAC schedule? Um, biggest thing is just trying to help out teammates. My teammates help me out a lot as we just bounce ideas off each other. We talk a lot on defense. Everything is just due to my teammates. So we just try to bring that energy, that toughness and knowledge, bring it all together. And the Saints, you guys will be taking on Northwest Nazarene on Saturday. You know, a quick turnaround. You know, what is what does the day look like tomorrow to kind of learn from today and, and get ready for a, a good Nighthawks team? I think the main thing we'll focus on tomorrow is just being a lot more disciplined defensively. We pick up a lot of ticky-tack fouls, and we're not a team that tries to take a lot of chances. And we've been doing that lately, and um, especially at the end of the shot clock, it's about to expire, and, and then we pick something up, just being undisciplined and kind of selfish reaching in. And, um, and then also, we'll watch a lot of the film from today and make sure that we clean up any of the things that we did. You know, um, I felt like E got uh, hit with some fouls that I, I didn't see, to be honest. Um, but I'll probably be wrong on film. You know, I usually am. Um, officials usually do a better job at officiating than me. But um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what we need to clean up and make sure that we do what we need to do to move forward and get better each game. And we will see you guys back here inside Marcus Pavilion this Saturday at 7 o'clock. Thanks, Austin.